but what's even cooler is that if you go over here in the the window um, called sectioning definition and click this under the first tab under definition there's a there's a little volume cut icon here if you click that it gives you a view of the model completely cut it's just for it's not actually going to be doing anything to the geometry for the, of the models just for viewing so don't worry you're not actually affecting the the geometry of the model at all now if i want to if i want to move that plane you notice that uh, when I mouse over here, I don't get that arrow anymore. I have to actually uh, put my rest of my my pointer on one of these cross one of these cross lines here. So if I mouse over any one of those, I, I get that uh, perpendicular uh, direction arrows, and I can click and move that plane dynamically through the model. You can see it very quickly. It very quickly moves through the model, allowing you to to see various elements, doors, beam connections, all kinds of local conditions you may want to be able to examine, but become very difficult when you're not um, when you're looking from the exterior of the model. Um, now you can also uh, you also if you look in the middle of your uh, your plane here you have some tools for rotating the plane. Um, you can see I if I mouse over this center uh, little little uh, manipulator I can I can uh, press that and rotate the model in a different direction rotate that plane so that it cuts the model in a different direction. So uh, if you can try and follow along, I mean I think this I think this tool is very helpful for for when you're um, when you're checking the different conditions of the model. So um, so you can rotate and you can move this around. Now if uh, if you go to, um, there's some other tools for positioning, but first what I want to do is uh, if I click OK, I should see that the, there's a new, there's a new uh, sections uh, tool um, entry underneath the, uh, underneath the tree here. And if I if I wanted to, I can actually go ahead. So it retains that, um, which is really nice. If I if I um, if I reference some new part of the model, it'll still retain this uh, sections. And if I go to um, if I right click and go to hide, it deactivates that that section. This is kind of nice because let's say um, let's say I create a second go and create a second section and I'm going to turn on that volume cut option again and I'm also going to let's say I'm going to rotate it rotate my plane so it's cutting from a different direction can I move my plane back so I can actually combine cuts to see the model cut from different directions all at the same time. You know, so if I just want to see like one little corner of the model, I can do that and combine these these cuts. And maybe yeah, we'll go ahead and make a third one just real quick. So move that. So it gives you it gives you the ability to combine those um, 
those section tools and um, it provides a pretty pretty easy way to uh, to quickly um, isolate just a chunk of the model without having to go in you know and in this case um, if I had to if I wanted to see a little corner I might have to go in and hide a bunch of objects within the model so I'd have to expand the tree here and drill down and uh, select different elements and say hide this show that um, I think this this is a lot this is a much easier option um, when you just want to kind of see a little a little portion of the model and isolate isolate it out and I can like I was showing before, if I if I want to uh, to deactivate um, any one of the sections, then I can just go ahead and hide it. Right click, say hide show, and that allows me to. I can still have the other ones active. And again, this has no effect on the geometry of the model. No effect at all. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect anything that the, uh, that the billing information modelers are dealing with internally to the model. It's just for you to visualize. So let's look at some of the other, um, other tools. I'm going to create a fourth section here and there's some uh, there's some other nice tools for moving this plane um, if I go to positioning um, there's an option here called geometrical target and if I select that basically it allows me to select any geometry that I can currently view let me zoom in so you can see. So for instance, if I want to reorient the plane to uh, be parallel with this wall, all I have to do is I see how it changes as I mouse over. Just click that, and now the plane is parallel. And I can move it through and cut a section in that direction. Or it's it's really helpful if you have a really odd condition, really odd uh, angle. Let's say you want it to be parallel to this curtain wall. So if I just kind of zoom in here and, and mouse over one of the panels, you see the plane now is pointing perpendicular to that, to that panel. Click it. And now I have, now the model is being cut at this kind of odd this odd angle so so you can go ahead and select any any face of any geometry and it can reorient that that section plane um, parallel to it uh, if if you want to return the the plane back to its original position uh, you can click the reset and that'll just I'll just move it right back to where it was. Now you'll you'll see that uh, because we reoriented the plane, it flipped directions. Well, we can just flip it right back. If you go to um, the invert normal button right next to the reset position button, that'll just flip the the direction of the cutting plane. So I want to, um, if you recall in the fourth webinar, uh, when we looked at the angle of this column and we looked at the, at the slopes of all these columns, right? We collected them inside of a data sheet. So let's say I was just, uh, you know, say I'm a project manager and I'm looking at this and I, and I realize that there are some problems. And we haven't addressed uh, head height underneath this column. So what I might do is, um, is, is first I want to mark out exactly where is head height.